What is up folks, I'm Ian, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a quick recap of my day trading today, and also give you a little analysis on the market, the S&P 500, where I think it's going, what all happened today, and how I took advantage of some of the setups that happened. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now you can see my screen here. <clears throat> this is the Thinkorswim platform. Um, it is actually August 6th, let me tell you the date, August 6th. Uh, right now it is about one o'clock. <clears throat> I'm finishing my day with a $231 profit, which is great. Um, normally my daily goal is $500, so I'm coming up short, but um, we'll see what happens. I, I may do a little bit of trading near the end of the day because there's been huge volume spikes um, between 3.30 and four o'clock. So I may take advantage of a little dip by opportunity into the close, but we'll see. Anyway, Amazon, um, so the day started out kind of negative. <laughs> I started out negative like $26, $30 basically. Amazon didn't work out so well, tried to make a dip buy and I just, I got sketched out, um, closed the trade. It ended up, it would have worked out if I would have just held longer. Obviously it always happens, but I uh, lost five bucks there. Lost uh, about four bucks on Shopify, same thing. I should have just held it a little bit longer and then it came back. Um, my biggest trader, the biggest stock today was SPXL, made about 247 on that stock, and then UVXY lost about $7. UVXY is actually a short, so it shorts the market. So when the market comes down, UVXY goes up. So in the morning, let's actually jump over to the charts now. I'll show you right here. So this right here is the one minute chart of the SPY, the S&P 500. This left area, to the left of this dotted line is yesterday and this is today. This is a five minute chart. Actually, sorry. Now it's the five minute chart of just today. This is a hour chart, uh, daily chart right here. The RSI is down here, RSI. Um, yeah, RSI, basically. Okay, so now that you know. All right, so let's look at yesterday's close. So yesterday closed really strong and then basically lost it all and gapped down today. It would have gapped down even more, but the jobs report came out and it was a better jobs report than like unemployment jobs report, better than expected. So that kind of pumped up the market. So when the market opened, it pushed up and you know, that's pretty standard. Usually that's like a gap fill. So it pushed up to try and fill the gap, did not succeed in filling the gap because it should have made it all the way up there. So I, that's where I was buying UVXY thinking, let me get short. And it just didn't work out so well. Maybe I was too early. I think that was the case. I was too early on trying to short the market and I just, you know, I lost a couple bucks on it. So I, I then decided, you know, I need to get out of UVXY. I, I kind of hate UVXY. I like it sometimes, but mostly I hate it because it just doesn't, doesn't work as I think it should. Anyway, um, so market started to come down and, and actually in the open today, it was pretty choppy. This is the one minute chart, but let me zoom out there you go so opens up pushes up comes back down and then it just chops here for like the first 30 minutes of the day and this was during the time when i basically lost and i was down like 30 bucks so i was like oh my god one of my rules is no trend no trade so there was no trend here it was just chopping up and down like literally it would go up and then it would come back down and then it would go up and then it would come back down push up a little bit higher come back down, straight down so i was just like you know what i'm gonna sit this one out so I was down 30 bucks, I sat on the sidelines, I watched it start to push up and I'm like, okay, great, missed out on that one, that's awesome. So it keeps on pushing up and just does this beautiful little uptrend, up and up and up, and I'm, I'm working on other things at this point. Um, it's pushing up into the upper van VWAP, by the way, that's the VWAP. And then all of a sudden it just starts to sell off like crazy. Now this is my chance, this is my opportunity. I love buying dips and I love it when stocks will come down to the lower VWAP band and when their RSI comes below 30% in the 20%. Um, some days, you know, if it's even higher and it will, it'll be a dip buy opportunity in the 30s, but it came down pretty good, came down to about 19% on the RSI. So I was buying in here, didn't actually get that much size because honestly I was nervous that this thing was gonna come down even lower. Um, if you look at the, the longer term time frame, each one of these columns is a, day so i literally was nervous i thought it was going to come down to like 330 because this thing is overdue for a pullback look at the daily like green 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 i mean the last seven days have just been up and up and up and so i'm expecting a sizable red day the market is just so bullish right now we're not getting that so um thankfully the market did hold 
on this lower VWAP. That was when I was, um, you know, right here. I was buying up. I think I bought like normally my position size, my normal position size, is like 2,500 to 3,000 shares. I only got to about mm, 1,200. I think it was about 1,200 shares here because I was expecting it to roll over and push down a little bit more. But right here, it actually just kept on going up. And, and so then I just sold out um, up here. So um, that was my first trade. I think that made me like, that got me out of the negative $30 and then it got me into like the positive 100 bucks, 150, something like that. I don't even remember. And then basically, <clears throat> let me zoom out. So then it came back down to test the lows, didn't actually make it all the way down. Um, kind of had this little like, you know, there's a high there, low, lower high, lower low. So I thought it was trending down for a bit there. I was buying the dips and just um, selling them as they pushed up. You know, anytime the RSI comes down into this 30s range, the 30s is actually a pretty, usually it's a pretty good dip buy opportunity. Anything lower than the 30s is like a fabulous dip buy opportunity. So I made a couple bucks in there. Um, and then I stopped trading around like noon-ish because uh, I had to get some other stuff done. But um, but yeah, as you can see, I mean, it it really continued to rip up. It looks like it's about to go up here and test the highs. You know, it seems like this is going to be a very similar day to what's been happening in the past couple trading days is like it pushes up really high, comes all the way down to the lows, massive range, and then pushes all the way back up. We'll probably tank all the way back down near the lows and then we'll probably finish up near the highs uh, end of day. You know, I wouldn't even doubt that like, between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m., I wouldn't even doubt that we have a little bit of a washout and then a push up just because that's been happening so much lately. So that's probably something that I'll be looking for. You know, I'll start watching the market again, um, 2.30, 3 o'clock, something like that to see what's going to happen. But um, but yeah, so it, um, I highly recommend my, my whole trading thing is the VWAP, uh, lower bands, dip buying off the lower band, the RSI, dip buying off of there right now it's so i really don't even have if you look right here usually i have all of my support and resistance lines mapped out i really haven't even mapped out i've got the trend line but i haven't mapped out support and resistance yet because it's just been so weird lately the past couple days let me see if i can even see i mean i definitely could add some lines in here like right here i guess you could put in um support and stuff so i'll probably do that after this video but I am definitely being cautious when it comes to dip buying and going long in this market because we are very overextended. I really do believe we need to have some kind of a large pullback and I'm looking forward to that kind of pullback because I want to dip buy it. I want to really wait until it gets down to like 330 and then buy it big. Um, you know, but they've been waiting so long with this whole stimulus decision that like once that comes out, it's probably going to push the market up even higher. So. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much my strategy there. Um, so far, it's been working. Glad to say today is another green day. All days this week have been green days. So 231 for today. Um, yeah, hopefully you learned, you know, my main, just to let you know about my rules, you know, no trend, no trade. Uh, be patient, be patient on the entry. You know, it's hard to be patient when you're waiting for this thing, you know, when, when it's going up and up and up. I didn't buy it because I wanted to buy it on a dip. I wanted to buy it when it, fell down so i did not even buy it up here when it tanked down then you got to be patient when it's tanking out so that you're not buying it like right here or if you have the ability to scale in and buy 100 shares 100 shares 100 shares you know and then start scaling in bigger when it starts to get that's going to help you with being able to get a really good average position uh, and that's what i have been doing you know i'll buy like 100 shares at a time and just keep scaling in as it's going against me um, with my main goal of it holding this lower band VWAP or holding a certain percentage on the RS RSI. Anyway, that is my day trading recap for today, August 6th. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.